Urban legends are often shocking stories or anecdotes that are based on hearsay. The legends are widely regarded as false. However, many of these often radical stories have some validity behind them. These legends exist everywhere, across the globe from the deserts of Africa to the Arctic deserts in Russia. Local stories often haunt the residents. Our particular legend is Munger Road. Located in the quaint town of St. Charles, Munger Road is a local, widely known tale. This devious location houses many different disturbing and appalling stories. I would say um, the most known is that there's a, um, there was a school bus of kids and um, somehow the bus got like stuck over the railroad tracks and a train hit it. So now if you put your car like on the tracks, um, the, the kids are just going like, to push you out of the way. Okay, so this is our trip to Munger Road. Uh, we are right now on a road that's been haunted for yeah, years. Yeah, everybody has a story about Munger Road. I heard that a little girl was murdered out here. We're gonna put baby powder on the bumper for physical proof that paranormal activity exists right here on Munger Road. Guys, guys, guys! Whoa, 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 okay, 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 slow and steady. Uh, lights. Not only is this legend popular in St. Charles, but it also has caught the attention of film director Nicholas Smith. Before its release last October, few people in Glen Ellen heard of the legend. However, once the movie was shown in theaters, many students from Glenbard West discovered the legend and wanted to see it for themselves. I think I first heard about it in, I think, grade school. A lot of St. Well, St. Charles kids know about it. I'm not sure. I don't really remember how I found out, but that's about when. I didn't hear it until that night, and it had been brought up by Kiet originally, and he had originally heard it from Eliza Hinton. I was bored surfing the web one night, and I found a website called Haunted Illinois, and I heard about Munger Road from one of their stories on that site. What do you think motivates teenagers to go out and try these legends? Um, they are trying to add some excitement and, you know, because it can be very boring living in the suburbs. And they want to create some excitement, like, like in the Scream movies. Yeah, I think so. I think it's kind of like having a haunted house nearby. It mm -hmm. makes people excited and they want to or wants to try the supernatural type thing. Uh -huh. But, yes, I would say a lot of people do. Well, especially since the movies come out, right? Yeah, especially since... I, I would say probably more people have tried it since then. We know what's supposed to happen at Munger Road, but the people who visited have many different accounts of what occurred. I personally didn't experience anything mysterious. Really, the only thing that happened was actually with real-life people. And we got out of the one that they showed up, so... So what was the whole story with, like, the people sh who showed up? Well, we were there, and some other kids were there, and they were trying the same thing. We just ended up, they kind of teamed up with us and came in Kiet's car. And that's why I put baby powder on to see the hands. And nothing happened at that moment. We took the car off the tracks, we were getting ready to leave. And a car full of what seemed to be very rowdy young people showed up, and they stepped out of the car with bats. And at that point, we didn't really wait around. We just got out. So you guys just left after Yeah, okay. very, very quickly. My friends took the baby powder and put it on the windows because um, handprints are supposed to show up. And um, nothing really happened. Like, I mean, you could see where the wind kind of moved it around, but I didn't see any handprints. Yeah, I, we've been there, I've been there twice with my friends, and we only did the baby thing once, but it didn't work out. Yeah, uh, the creepiest part about Munger Road is the, the road getting there. Because when you're on your way there, everything's really dark. 
and the trees loom over the top of the road, so it's like you're being swallowed into darkness when you're going down that street. These experiences show how urban legends can be intriguing, but we wanted to further explore urban legends and their validity. Personally, I don't believe in urban legends. I believe that, you know, the stories they spin off, it's like a huge telephone game, how, you know, it, from person to person the story changes a little bit, so I think they're false, but... I mean, I've heard a lot of the urban legends, you know, in the local community, and I've also heard of the larger ones that, you know, there's a lot of movies about, like Bloody Mary. In our community. Um, I do believe in urban legends uh, because they add some spice to my mundane suburban existence, and they provide something to, you know, be excited about and to fear. Okay, and are you aware of many in communities? Yes, all over the world. Um, I think every community has their own set of urban legends, which which gives you something about their culture. Right. Now, obviously, like, the stories behind the urban legends, some of them are absolutely ridiculous, but do you think some of them, there's some validity behind the stories? Yeah, I think there's a lot of validity behind the stories, because if you look at them, a lot of them, they're based on a concept where it's a very, like, basic story that's tragic that could happen, and I think a lot of them did happen. Now, although these stories behind these legends are often kind of ridiculous and absurd, do you think some of them have some validity behind them? Like, do you think the story could have actually happened somewhere, but it was just overly exaggerated? Probably. Usually they, they have sort of like a, like a foundation in truth, and then they turn it into something. Like, oh, like, a kid was murdered here, they really were, but then the legend is that they're like a ghost or something. So, there is some truth in them. So the question still remains, is Munger Road haunted? I think there could be. Like, when we were there, there was a really creepy aura, and it wasn't, it wasn't really like, a happy place. It was sad, and when we got there, we were all really scared because of all the darkness around us. But yeah, I I feel like there was something haunting it. Okay. Is that it? Swag.